During this video, we are going to review how to recover at home. This slide focuses on some of the things to be aware of while you are at home recovering. Eating and drinking properly is important for good healing. Rest, but do your exercises as described by the physical therapist. There is such thing as exercising too much and there is such thing as exercising not enough. You will need to find a middle ground here and it may take you a few days to do so. Once your dressing is off, you will look for signs of infection, which we will go over in the next few slides. However, do not rub your incision. Do not let your friends or pets touch the incision. Once you are allowed to shower, which is after your first post-operative appointment, 10 to 14 days after surgery, no soaking in a bathtub or pool of water. No soaps, bath gels, powders, or lotions on the incision until cleared to do so. Follow all of your post-operative instructions. Please keep all of your post-operative appointments. We want to make sure that you are meeting your goals in a timely manner. Never put anything on your incision that you were not instructed to do so by your orthopedic team or visiting nurse. Never drink alcohol while taking pain medication. This can impair your judgment. It can also cause you to lose your balance and fall, necessitating further surgery. If you have any concerns about this, please call your provider to discuss. Signs of infection to be watchful for are redness around the incision or dressing while it is still on. The area is warm to touch. You have had a fever of 101 for more than a day. Any drainage or pus from the wound. Increased pain more than before, especially if the pain is unexplained. For example, you would expect to have a little bit more pain if you work harder with physical therapy or any unpleasant smells. This is an example of a clean incision. There is no redness or drainage, no pulling apart. There is some bruising. You should expect to have some bruising after surgery. A lot of work occurs during surgery and you will be on a blood thinning medication so you may bruise more easily than usual. This slide shows some redness surrounding part of the incision. This is a sign of an early infection. The good news here is that there is no drainage and that the entire thing is not red. If you see this, you should call your doctor's office and let them know what is going on. If there is any point where you are unsure if the incision is red or if you are questioning something regarding your incision, please call the office immediately. When you are at home, we advise that you monitor your temperature daily. Make sure you have a thermometer at home to do so. Call the office with any concerns. We will have you describe your symptoms and make you an appointment or tell you best what to do. Our office is open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. This is the best time to call as someone will answer your questions promptly. However, issues do arise during the weekend and at nighttime. If something urgent happens, please call the office phone and the answering service will direct you to the on-call surgeon who will get back to you as soon as possible.